Sir, we've received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed. By Wu Tai? <laughs> Indeed, and so it begins. The new bridge I see up ahead? swept away by the current. I think he's... dead. You never forgot, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. Zack was my friend. How can I just forget him like that? Degradation. It's hollowing me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. You remember, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. I know it. Thanks. We gotta tell Eric about this. She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? Mako Spring. Wait, so this whole thing's materia? Wow, it's so much bigger. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. Hey, we should get out of here. All this Mako is making me queasy. Yeah, me too. Are you sure? Are 
we're going the right way. We're almost there. Once we get past this part, then... Come on. Let's find another route. No need to worry. I've already found one. More climbing, but hey! You know, I can't say I've ever taken this route before. You gonna be okay, Yuffie? Oh yeah, no problem. This is nothing compared to what we got in Wutai. Like the massive sculpture of Da Chao, carved into the face of this one cliff. <coughs> All us ninjas have to scale it. Part of our training. Never liked the climb much. But I freaking loved the reward. Which was? The chow beans, of course. Got to eat up when we made it to the top. Oh, tell you what, I'll give you some when we finish our climb. <laughs> That's kind, but you really don't have to. Kids and grandkids probably work for Shimmer. Oh. oh. I never thought about that before. Hmm. I guess it's not that weird for people to move to different countries. <laughs> and it's not like we have lots of foreigners into Wutai either. I mean, take Colonel Lothrock. He and Viceroy Saruth are the whole reason we have an interim government in the first place. This whole team is made up of nothing but ex-soldiers. A bunch of badasses who decided to give Shinra the finger. I know, like you. Nothing like me. That's so much in common, you'd be best buds. Just saying, it's never too late to join the cause. You know, I really think you'd like to do We could bring the whole gang even. We'll start our own spec ops unit. The Yuffie Recon Patrol. Shinra will be afraid to even speak our name. They'll stand in awe of the fair ninja who leads her loyal minions and tremble in fear when they see the wire beads coming in hot. <laughs> People will be banging down the door to buy our film rights. Your stunned silence says more than words ever could. I knew you'd be on board. Please shut up. Ceasefire, though? That's what they say. Still, doesn't mean we are. And it makes no difference to them either way. Come on. We gotta find Murasaki. Anything? No, nothing. 
I had no idea they were planning an operation. I should have been here. Should have done something for them. You've done tons for us. Remember that. Whatever. Check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. <sighs> I don't see anyone. room off Mako storage. You? Town hall still. Thought I might be able to do something from here, so I tried accessing the reactor terminal. Anyway, did you find Murasaki? Yeah, we did. He died in a skirmish with Wutai. He... what? Then we don't have much time. We have to reach the terminal in Shinra Manor before word gets out. You've got the key card, right? Yeah. Good. Then slot it into the console. I'll work my magic from here. Should have that gate open before you know it. Yes! Yes! 
get in there, my son. I'll go ahead and look for the terminal. See you there. <laughs> Meet at the manor. Got it. Cheerio! See ya! Let's go. Well, you heard them. Time is of the essence. We need to find that terminal, ideally before they get back. Yes, sir. You stay behind and wait for them. Once they arrive, you can put that nose of yours to work. Follow our scent right to us. <sighs> you gotta admit, you're the best one for the job. I will concede you have a point. Then let's get a move on. a few cracks between friends. It's almost 50 years old. This can't just be a fancy house. I'm gonna go out on a limb and agree with you there. The village is practically drowning in a sea of black robes after all. So what if it is? Well, it would add weight to the rumour that Bojo used to conduct experiments here. <laughs> Doubt it's just a rumour. dangerous than that. But nay bother, I'll protect you. Uh... Hello and welcome to Shinra Manor. Uh -huh. Hojo. I don't know what it is you hope to find here, but I'm afraid this facility has been abandoned for some time. Everything of value is gone. Please, feel free to poke around. Ah! It's not him. It's just an AI caretaker. That said, this facility has always had a place in my heart. I must insist that you leave it in the condition in which you found it. And with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. We're trapped in here. <laughs> like rats in a cage. No squeezing through those bars. Huh? That duck, however, might just fit a cat. Sit tight, I'll have you out in a jiffy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just you leave the problem solving to me. You're in safe pause now. generator somewhere upstairs. Well, nothing else for it. Back into the air duct to go. Sure you'll be okay? Positive. I'll be in and out before you know it. Don't have too much fun without me. Better for a wee lie down. <clears throat> so then, onwards and upwards. Ah, oh, for crying out loud! What is it this time? You'll require the password to proceed. Huh? Go again. No, no, no need for violence. I come in peace, and to abet your escape as well. Huh. Like hell you do. Really, it's true. You're far more resilient than anticipated. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourselves out peacefully. The password is comprised of four two-digit numbers. I wrote them down in this very room, but where? Well then, no time to waste. to any unauthorized personnel. It's where I've been keeping a rather unruly thing. Here goes! Go on! 
How wasn't he built for this kind of thing? Excellent work dispatching that scene. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tidy. All well-earned praise aside, since that nettlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again, exterminators. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting. Dragged in. Hey there. Uh. So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense tune on past mistakes. Uh, right. Core's a bit grim, no? Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Uh. Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm hmm. the authorization at least. Oh, great. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it, but there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. sin to atone for.
The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Don't mind if we do, I guess. Still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? here. I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any... Ah!
I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end? Your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet, come on. Is that all you ever think about? Well, you, you, for trying to be helpful. right now if you really wanted hmm? but before that would you mind a quick trip to the saucer what why would we want to go there to even set foot inside the temple we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the keystone trouble is it's been missing for nigh on 20 years so any guesses as to where it was last seen the gold saucer I know it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, if we gotta, once we're good, let's get a move on. What's this? I'm 
not going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here. Because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. driven me on. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So let's cut it one last time! He's mine! I got you now. to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Yeah.
supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us, when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Hunan's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, Put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch! This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saruf? The invisible man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. P0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lodbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. <laughs> Pity about Saruf. Would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. 
Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the saucer? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Ketsef? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Whew. Breaking news at this hour. Let's First take time a look in your house since I was four, like, seven, eight? Isn't really mine, though. You wandered off to now. Hello, dear. May I help you? <laughs> Just listening. You've got a great voice. Oh, you flatter me. I didn't even know I was doing it. You see, this cat I feed sometimes has gone missing. And when I worry, I cannot help but sing. Hey. Hmm? Sounds like a job for a merc, doesn't it? Well, aren't you the picture of confidence? You wouldn't happen to be a professional feline finder, would you? Not officially, but I've got a good cat-catching record. Been doing it since I was a kid. <laughs> I'm Christine, by the way. Chef and chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. She's got the most beautiful snow-white coat. Petite little thing, too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. I'll leave you to find my darling cat while I cook up a mighty feast. All this talk of cats makes me think of Fluffy. Yeah, the one and only. What happened to her, anyway? No idea. Haven't seen her since the fire five years ago. Man. I can't shake the feeling that I just left her to die. I really hope she's okay, but if she's not... Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What? How come you named your cat Fluffy? It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, This little lady's name is Fluffy. But he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had already started calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those days. Hard to believe looking at me now. Hey, do you remember that red bandana Fluffy always had around her neck? Now that you mention it, Believe it or not, my dad made it, with cloth from one of his old shirts. Even though she was my cat, I think he took better care of her. That right. 
Sorry, didn't mean to bring him up. No need to apologize. What's that? Heard something. Over there. Let's go. Plenty more where this came from, so dig in. Leave him alone. Get him. Allow me. It's on you. I'm coming. Clip you can burn. do it. Fluffy and the kittens might have been hurt. Do you mind if we head back to the village? You know, if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. I mean, can't say no to both of us, right? Guess we'll see. Come on. Huh. Guess even she can tell this place is nothing like it used to be. That's probably why she never came back here. What is it? Fluffy? After him. with you. She gave birth to her litter on the mountain. 
Oh, sweetling, you're going to be a great mommy. I hope this is all right. It wasn't exactly safe for a bunch of kittens. Couldn't just leave them, so... Don't be silly, dear. You did the right thing. I'll take excellent care of this family. They'll want for nothing. Long I've dreamed of opening my home To live to once, to play and romp and love La 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 If I'm going to take these cats in, they're going to need names. You've got such beautiful white fur. Blanca. Yes, that fits perfectly, don't you think? As for the kittens, we'll decide later. Actually, the cat's already got a name. What? You weren't hoping to hear me play, were you? I'm terribly sorry, Blanca, but I'm a bit worn out after all that excitement. Tifa can play. Cloud? What a wonderful idea. You'll humor us, dear, won't you? <sighs> okay. Just a bit. Hold that thought. This occasion calls for an accompaniment. I know some folks who would just love the chance to perform. Don't go anywhere. That escalated quickly. I wasn't expecting an audience. I haven't practiced since I was a kid. What should I do? Back out? Well, that's not an option. Then I think you better get warmed up. about a backhanded compliment, but I'll take it. Thanks. Glad that you could help. Take care of the cats for me. I certainly will. <laughs> Rest assured, I'll keep them very well fed. So bring your appetites. <coughs> All right, come along then. Playing that piano again brought back a lot of memories. How mom used to teach me while dad was downstairs in the kitchen doing his best, which was pretty good. Hangouts with Emilio and the gang, <laughs> which we kept inviting you to, but you never came. Never? Really? Really, but you seemed fine on your own. That what it looked like? That I enjoyed being alone? You didn't? Of course not. Huh. I guess we still don't know each other that well. Hmm. Well, never too late to make up for lost time. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad we came. Yeah, glad we found Fluffy too. I think you mean Blanca. But yeah, I hope she and the kittens are happy here. Propaganda and dismiss their alleged hey. reactor footage as a digital Stood up? The company has launched nope. Waiting on you folks. Something I wanted to ask. About your mother. Her name's Afalna, right? Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. 
Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? No. She's dead. <clears throat> you know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. <laughs> you were knee-high to a tomberry. And I was what? Called the smogger, I'd wager. I can do for you. I want to help. What? Why? I'm uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. Then again, if you're just dying to help, you could take us to the salsa for free. Free? It's fine. We'll pay. It's on me. When you want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Hey, good to go? Let's get a move on then. <laughs> You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Hmm. Please. Take a seat. Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. Uh. Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. Sephiroth shows up. No 
nobody knows. Uh, on a related note, if war is officially declared, it will be long before borders start closing. So, if you've got somewhere to be, you might want to get a wee shuffle on. What the? Sid? Hey, Sid? I heard you the first time. Just sit tight, everything's under control. <laughs> Said, just sit tight. This beauty's maintained by an expert and piloted by a professional. Y'all are in good hands. You sure? Because I think that was the engine. Uh, get off my ass and sit tight like I told you to. But what is it, altitude? you can swim away from. <laughs> you almost killed us! Okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And? What of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So, you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on the coast of Del Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa Del Sol, sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. Hey, mind filling us in on the Keystone before we arrive? Gladly. About 20 years back, one of our more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum that was antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, what did the company then? The Keystone was housed there. Wait a second. I thought you said it was at the gold saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. There was a threat. There wasn't. Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a total rock. Closed as soon as it opened. But, somewhere in the big button of the river, boarding up the windows, the keystone vanished in the air. So it's not at the saucer? Do you know where it went? No, but I know about you, man. The former Gilly. See you. Hmm? How do you know that name? Let's just say. After the museum debacle, all the deal was devoted to the only to be the again to the saucer took off. Made director in no time. Real riches to rags to riches story. All of which is why we're bound for the saucer. Hey, Sid. Did I hear right? You used to work with Shinra. Still do, on occasion. The boys got their uses. That's gonna be a problem. You see, we don't take kind friends. 
York. And I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. Man who tries to lord his power over me is gonna wish he didn't. That's what's appealing about the skies. Got them all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. I hope Johnny's all built up by now. And that his hotel is found at the ceilings. Bad chance. He had probably got drifted again and was crying himself to sleep every night. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. What do you think? Of course. Girl always knows just what to say, am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> If it isn't the talk of the resort! I can't thank you enough for handling that mess. Is there anything I can do for you? Who? Oh, that ungrateful schlub. I hope the hero is enjoying his 15 minutes of fame. It won't last, and neither will his hilltop roach trap. Just give it time. <laughs> I certainly wasn't expecting the professor to do something like that. Still, I'm a simple man, and from what I gather, his experiment was of great scientific import. So while I could have done without the collateral damage, it fills me with pride to be the mayor who holds a special footnote in Shinra's illustrious history. There were a few injuries, yes, but no guests were killed. In all honesty, the professor did us a service by ridding us of those robes. The freaks were ruining our ambiance. Shinra also did us a service by providing us with a generous do- oh, uh, Forget I said anything. Well, all that ugliness is in the past. Let's look to our future. One that's bright and mutually beneficial. I'm not buying it. Oh, surely I can sell you on the idea of lending the Merc I've hired a hand. What's this about a Merc? Oh, perhaps your associates. That makes things easier. You see, some fiends popped out of the water and assaulted a group of innocent beachgoers the other day. The young lady agreed to exterminate those pests, only to go on a bender at a bar on the beach. I paid her a handsome sum up front, too, so I intend to get my money's worth. Oh, and after you've gotten rid of those monsters, as a personal favor, I want you to take care of that Merc. Uh... She's been spending the money I paid her to do nothing but party. It's time she learned there are some folks you don't cross. Hmm. Agreed. I've no doubt you'll find her at that damned bar. Do give her my regards. Oh! Hey there, Cloud! 
Welcome to my Costa del Sol headquarters. <laughs> Figured I'd set up shop here, in case there's trouble in paradise. I know Junon was kind of a bust, but I'm back and better than ever. Same goes for my advertising. So don't you worry about me, my fellow Merc. Aren't you supposed to be working? <sighs> really? Another lecture? <sighs> for a 20-something, you sound like my grandma. And for the record, I have been working, thank you very much. I figured out where the fiends are probably gonna show. All that's left is to have someone else do the cleanup. Let me guess. Me? Exactly! So don't try to pin it on this mark. The whole situation would be resolved if you did your job. Nobody likes a slacker. Man, this girl's got some nerve. And coming from me, that's seen a lot. But if we don't do something, it's your good name that's gonna end up taking the hit. Hmm. She's got a point. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Your thoughtful bosses dug up a recipe for bait that ought to lure those monsters out of hiding. All you need to do is gather the materials and make some for yourself. Here. When you're done, head to the off-limits beach across town for some monster baiting. <sighs> you're coming with. Can't do this alone. According to the recipe, it looks like you're gonna need to get some rare-ass monster parts. And I do mean rare. Probably can't find them around here. Oh, did I say probably? I meant definitely. <laughs> Some legend. This bait's a bust. <laughs> Still too soon. Allow me. Better go tell Kyrie. Right. So, uh, what about the mayor's other request? You know, the whole take care of her thing? I mean, lying isn't the greatest, but she doesn't deserve that. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Welcome back, fellow Merc. So, did you take care of those baddies? Yep. Ah, perfect! In that case, I'm gonna go tell the mayor so I can claim my reward. Hold it. Hmm? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? Said we should take care of you. He what? No, this has to be a joke, right? Hate to break it to you, Kyrie, but this is no laughing matter. What did I do wrong? Oh god, I don't know. Wait a minute. Is this about my looks? I'm so gorgeous that you can't take your eyes off me, distracting you from your mercenary duties. Right? 
that's the best you can come up with? No, wait! Let me guess. Are you mad that I called myself a mercenary? Or was it that I pressured you into doing all the dirty work? Or that I wasn't giving you a big enough cut? <sighs> Do you want to die? Mm -mm. Forgive my granddaughter her questionable sense of humor. Uh, Grandma? I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun when I heard a merc was in town. Figured I'd pay him a visit and, well... <laughs> if Cloud hadn't come to your rescue, young lady, you would have been a goner. <sighs> Don't be fooled. That mayor's no model citizen. He's as wicked as they come. You need to pick your targets with care. Yeah, yeah, you've told me a thousand times. Make it a thousand and one, because you still don't get it. Look, I'm doing my best out here, okay? It's just that some things are beyond my control. You're the one who doesn't get it. No matter what I try every single time, it's... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah, oh, Kyrie. You know I only want what's best for you. And if you're to be the next guardian angel of the slums... Honestly, I kind of get where Kyrie is coming from here. Parents want kids to listen to them because they know what's best, but they don't. They just want us to do whatever they tell us. And that really, really sucks, you know? Um, I've always looked up to the guardian angel of the slums. But that's your thing, Grandma, not mine. And no matter how much I want to follow in your footsteps and make you proud, I can't. Because I'm not you. I'm me. <laughs> I don't know. You certainly sound just like me. Oh? Oh, forgive me, dear. I know I shouldn't push you. Or nitpick your technique. So how about this? We work together as partners, equals. Sound fair? <sighs> now then, shall we head home? The people need us. Okay, let's go. <laughs> In any case, thanks for looking out for my little Merc. I'll be taking her back to Midgar. Try to make sure she stays there. <laughs> Trying's about all I can do. <laughs> Thank you for stepping in back there. I was just so pissed I had to say something. <laughs> Stay strong. You too. Girl power and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, partner. Coming! Actually, what say we look for one last job before we leave? Oh, I've got an idea. You see, I dug up a little dirt about that mayor. Just a little? <laughs> so, what do we do now? We go and tell the mayor we took care of the Merc, just like he wanted. Oh, there you are, friends. I heard you ran that little swindler out of town. I would have preferred a more final farewell, but she's gone and that's enough. As a token of my thanks, accept this reward. We've got trouble. See for yourself. They even found the secret safe. It's empty. What? You better head back. We hereby bequeath your ill-gotten gains to the more deserving masses. And it's signed, the first and third guardian angels of the slums. Radiant saviors of the sun -kissed. No way! <laughs> you go, girls! from Corneos. Leslie. 
What are you doing out here? You look like you've been through hell. Got wind my girl might be out this way. Had to follow up. See if there was truth to it. Well, you saw. After the plate fell, the trio opened the place to refugees. Town tripled in size. Man, if you thought it was lively before. Unfortunately, when Corneo pulled up stakes, he took all that Shinra money with him. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Walmart's days are numbered. Madame M's trying to work her magic, but I don't know. Sector 7's still a mess. Probably gonna stay that way for a while. Expressway collapsed right after the plate. Then out of the blue, the company decides it needs a new president. It seems pretty clear Shinra doesn't give a shit about Sector 7. Undercity especially. But that shouldn't come as a surprise. The people have stepped up though. Clearing the rubble, helping the injured, locating the missing. In case I didn't tell you, her name's Merle. After you guys left Wall Market, I started asking around. Hoped one of her friends might know something. I shouldn't have bothered. Even if they did have info, they're not dumb. They wouldn't dare blab to a former Corneo crummy. But I was able to find out she wasn't in Midgar anymore. And ever since then, I've been moving from town to town, looking for leads. So the thing is, Gus is running a special competition, and a woman is the prize. Word around the Dust Bowl is she fled here from Midgar. It's just a hunch, but I think she might be who I'm looking for. She's a prize? That's sick. Gus is a real piece of shit, to put it mildly. You do that? <laughs> Monsters did. Gus is calling it a party, but it's an excuse to see blood. Lots of it. He pits people against fiends, and his money's on the ladder. I lost. So this is where you guys come in. Join the party, win, and free that woman. Hmm. Still a merc, aren't you? No reason not to. True. Please. We'll do it. <laughs> so you know, we need a team of five to sign up. In the ring, though, it's one on one. <laughs> and humans only, I'm afraid. <sighs> I'm counting on you, and so is the woman. If anyone can put Gus in his place, it's Walmart, it's reigning champs.
Over that deal, pretty please. Hey. Huh? Hello. Where did you come from, beautiful? You looking to get in good with the gust, man? Don't ever pull this crap again. If you offer any more people as prizes, they'll have to scrape you off my shoe. Got it? Yes, ma'am. So, how did the reunion go? Different girl. What? Was just a random tourist from Midgar. Fell for a scam at the saucer and ended up down here. I sent her back up. Made sure she's safe. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'll find her eventually. I'm sure of it. Anyway, what's next for you and the others? We're looking for something too. Need to find it ASAP. <laughs> Funny. Always the same story with us. Good luck to you. Thanks. And you. <laughs> Should split up to look for Dio. Will do! If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, Cloud, you got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. the powers that be like what we have to offer. Gave us permission to race in the Gold Cup. So I went and signed you up as soon as I could. After all, you're the best jockey I know. 
The cup is three races, and you get points based on where you place in each. Heard with the most at the end wins. But the races are nothing like you've ever seen before. You gotta be on the ball if you want to take the top spot. Anyway, when you're ready to face off against the finest riders this side of the continent, head on over to registration. So what are the odds at Santa? Cloud! I can't believe it. This is really happening. We're about to race in the Gold Cup! Oh, hell. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment. We made it! <laughs> Rain it in. Couldn't even if I wanted. Okay, Cloud. Your bird's ready and raring to go. All that's left is... <sighs> Gee, if that ain't the stupidest. Obviously some sore losers are trying to raise a sting. We'd best nip this thing in the bud. You tell them the reason we keep winning is because we know how to take care of our birds. Long time no see, Merc. And Miss Tifa, too. Should have told me you were dropping by. Would have given you a royal treatment. Oh, hey, Sam. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm surprised to see your name on the jockey list. What sparked your interest in bird racing? This and that. Fell into it, did you? Well, you're a natural. Not just anybody can break my ace of streak. <laughs> that was just a practice race. My official record is still pristine. This is the Gold Cup. The contest for which Hyperion and I have trained non-stop. You got the drop on us before, but you won't get lucky twice. Now we're talking. You two are gonna give the people a race to remember. <laughs> You're... Billy, I work on Bill's ranch. You might remember my parents, Will and Clara, since you killed them. Did I? Don't play dumb. You were mad their business was eating into your profits. So you got them addicted to gambling. It was all part of your grand plan. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't say the story is that simple. But the truth can be one bitter drink. You ain't nowhere near old enough to keep it down. I ain't just some stupid kid, and I'll prove it to you! If my man here wins the gold cup, that's proof I'm old enough to hear your truth! You're on. Piddly little ranch like yours ain't got a chance. But best of luck to y'all. Sure about this? Pressure's on now. Yeah, well, all I gotta do is win it all, right? to the Gold Saucers Chocobo Racetrack, which today plays host to racing's biggest competition, the Gold Cup. Over three grueling races, our contenders will push themselves to the limit. The world is watching with bated breath as the best of the best take their places for what will surely be one heck of a race. Fan favorite Joe will be riding the Chocobo Hyperion for Sam's delivery service. And given his track record, many expect a decorated champion to be first across the finish line. All right, folks, our contenders are ready. Every gate is occupied, so this is it. The moment you've been waiting for, the Gold Cup. Because we're just getting started. Here comes our next race.
this is turning into one heated tournament, folks. But who will be riding home with the gold cup? Only one more race remains in this exciting event. Let's see who comes out on top. Now it's your turn. Son, do you know what kind of business your parents were trying to break into after they got their ranch up and running? Wild Chocobo Conservation. It's no secret that environmental changes have been hard on the birds. And what's bad for them is bad for business. Unfortunately, nobody seemed to care. Saving the planet ain't cheap, you see. Folks know somebody's got to pay for it. But they'll be damned if it's going to be them. So while everybody else turned a blind eye, one couple faced the problem head on your parents. They had everything they'd need. The know-how, drive, and passion. Thing is, none of that counts for much if you ain't got the gill. So they went around taking out loans left and right till they were swimming in debt, which is when they ran into the meanest shark of them all. Reckon you know who. Don Corneo. Uh, I didn't know it at the uh, time, but that sleazy son uh, bitch was rounding up folks and shipping yeah, them off yeah, to yeah, Shinra yeah. for their experiments. <laughs> oh, Will and Claire figured it was the only <laughs> way they'd be able to save their business, so they signed up. <laughs> A while later, Will paid me a visit, begged me to take the reins in his and Clara's stead. He wanted what was best for those birds. As did I, so I took him up on the offer and bought him out. And since then, I ain't seen either one of your parents. It was only after that I heard about Corneo's antics through the grapevine. Couldn't do a thing to stop him. 
Not with Shinra in the wings, that's for sure. They say anything about me? Or my sister? Not to me, no. Don't go thinking they forgot about you. You and your sister were always at the forefront of their minds. The business might have gone south, but they chose to give up their future to make sure you two could have yours. That's why you got a roof over your head, a place to work, and food to eat. I can't believe it. I've had it wrong this whole time. Son, I'd be surprised if there's a wild chocobo out there that doesn't owe its freedom to your mom and your dad, one way or another. Hell of a legacy to live up to, but if you want it, the business is yours. Just know this, it ain't gonna turn a profit. So unless you can find a way to fund it, you'll wind up in the same trouble as your folks. Think it over. Maybe chat with Papa too. Call it. Heads or tails, son. Get it right, and I'll float you some operating capital. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna do this on my own. Me and Chloe and Gramps, I mean. Hmm. <laughs> you truly are their boy. Got your old man's pig head and your mother's backbone. Not bad. <sighs> I... I'm gonna do my parents proud. You'll see. It may take some time, but I'll make sure their legacy lives on. I don't get it. If Gramps knew all this, why do you make it sound like Sam was to blame? He was probably trying to protect you, to stop you from going after Corneo or Shinra on your own. So he pinned it on Sam knowing that your uncle would be okay shouldering the blame. Shouldn't have to tell you this, but seeking revenge would be stupid. I know. Still, if an opportunity did happen to come along, you'd help me out, wouldn't you? Hey, I'm a world-famous jockey now. Can't be associated with that kind of stuff. Ah. Uh... <laughs> you had me going there. Have yourself a day. Check it out, Cloud. Can you believe this? Corneo? The dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. I got some protein powder. Did you see that? Muscle Head Coliseum. The hosted epic contest. Aha! Found him! Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm, he doesn't look quite right. Hmm. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection. 
last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. Let's sit out. Training hard and getting those days. What's up, party people? What's up? It's a challenge from the dark. Find and Give the people what they want. Take it in a team. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great! I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. at the Colosseum tomorrow. You'd better rest up before your big day. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> Here. No. Mm -hmm. 
Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Aerith sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please, you gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh... Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. No promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her. Please. 
I won't. Make sure that you're back by dinner. I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! Gotta find Elmira.